Hello and welcome to my review of the Tyranid Carnifex Brood. This time I'll be looking at Old One Eye. Uh, I got a question um, from someone uh, asking me what Old One Eye was. Well, this is it. You can make this uh, kind of unique HQ choice that is a Carnifex um, in the Carnifex brood, which will cost you 55 pounds and you basically get two Carnifexes. You can have them as two normal Carnifexes. You can have one as well, One Eye. You can have uh, one as a, one or two of them as Screamer Killers. Um, or you can have two of them as Thornbacks. Um, so the kit does give you plenty of options and lots of spare parts, which I'll be showing you in a moment, um, to make a, a wide range of Carnifexes. And yeah, you know, you can uh, magnetize their, their limbs and things to some extent to uh, give you the, the availability of, of most of the options. Um, 55 pound is, is a fair bit of money, especially for, you know, two, two plastic models of medium size. And I would have liked them to be sort of 50 pounds base. Um, but there you go, they're on Games Workshop store as a, on, you know, web store exclusives. So that's just uh, what they're doing right now. So what is what Old One Eye? Well, Old One Eye is a, an HQ choice in the uh, Tyranid Codex uh, as, a, as a Carnifex. It is equipped with uh, monstrous crushing claws, monstrous scything talons, and a thresher scythe. So no ranged weaponry here. You've just got these monstrous scything talons and the monstrous uh, crushing claws. You can spot him right away because uh, half of his kind of um, head or uh, you know skull, a bone is is uh, showing, um, and then he's just got the normal side there. So he must have been in a fight, maybe flamethrower, maybe some kind of uh, chemical weapon, acid weapon, whatever, has burnt part of his uh, his face off, but he's still going strong. And that's just like a testament to, uh, you know, his role on the battlefield as a living battering ram. More on that in the rules a little bit later on. But there's his thresher scythe, this nice kind of um, hammerhead, rock solid um, uh, battering uh, tail that he's got. Um, and he just uh, pelts it to the air. Uh, uh, enemy lines as quick as possible. He's got some spikes too, just jutting out from his his armor and on the top. Um, so it's just a solid chitin armor, bone kind of um, alien creature that uh, you know stomps its way to the battlefield, crushing everything um, in its path. The model itself quite uh, straightforward, decent to put together. The the only sort of downside uh, with these Carnifexes is that you don't really get too many instructions in the instruction guide of how to make them into specific ones. I don't think that there was a, a old one eye instruction part to the the brood um, box set. I think I had to look at some pictures and you know guess where spikes went and claws went and things like that. But it's not too difficult. The model, the, you know, the the set itself is is quite straightforward for these kind of fixes. You won't have too many issues. Um, so quite a straightforward kit, uh, straightforward to to put together. Let's have a look at some uh, uh, spare parts. You do get an awful lot of spare parts here. I'm just going to move these over, over here. And there you go. A lot of spare parts there. Everything from uh, all the ch chitting kind of armor and things um, to the guns, uh, to the heads, um, you know, you name it. The whips. Uh, are they whips? No, they're, they're sort of like uh, tubes to, to the weaponry, uh, you know, the weapons, the guns themselves. Um, you know, lots of spare parts that you can use maybe on other bases. It's supposed to mean sort of standing on a bit of chitin armor maybe. Um, but there you go, you get a lot of spare parts in this kit. And yes, as I said in the Screamer Killer review, you can, um, if you wish, you know, drill some holes and um, magnetize uh, the limbs and, you know, just swap out and have, uh, you know, different options for your Carnifexes uh, if, if you really wish. So it's great that the kit offers you that. So let's do some size comparison. So first of all, um, I will just uh, bring in a little gene stealer that I've uh, completed. Um, and you can see that it is a medium model. I mean, it looks large next to the gene stealer, but it is a medium sort of Tyranid model. I don't think it's a large uh, Tyranid model. A large one, I'll probably say, is, is the, uh, the Trigon. Um, much, much taller, uh, as you can see. Um, double the height, if that, um, probably probably a bit more. Um, you know, huge, huge claws that are, yeah, I'd say on par with the Carnifexes, um, but a much bigger head uh, and teeth and obviously a very long tail. Um, next to a Dimachiron, which I just, just so happen to have. Um, it does look a bit a bit tiny next to a Dimachiron, but then again, Dimachiron is a, a massive uh, Tyranid model. Uh, obviously not as big as a Titan, but still. And uh, 
yeah, so for size comparisons, I just thought I'd show you that. So it's definitely in the medium kind of sizes of, of the Tyranids, and uh, still not as big as a uh, Tyrannifex or Turbigon, I think it is. Gives you some, some insight to that. Um, next to some Imperial uh, models, I'll just uh, show you next to, you know, Space Marine. Um, and then a primary space marine. As you can see, it does dwarf a normal space marine. Space marine just about comes up to its head, um, and the primaris uh, definitely does come up to its head, um, probably taking aim at its head, uh, but there you go. So hope those size comparisons help. And the final kind of uh, comparison I wanna make is just with a, a contempt to dreadnought, actually. Um, as you can see there, love to have a little fight between these two, a nice big suit of armor. Um, essentially um and uh you know uh, a medium-sized kind of xenos threat um nice little uh you know match up they would make on the battlefield so hope those sort of comparisons help um with figuring out you know how bigger you know carnifixes are in in this eighth edition and now this is my part of the review where i will just go through uh, all of the rules for old one eye you'll find him in the hq section um he is a powerpoint cost of a 10 match play points cost of uh, 200, which is uh, quite a quite a high amount. I mean, he's not as much as the Swarm Lord, um, but he's definitely bigger than the Death Leap and uh, Red Terror. And um, you could buy Death Leap and Red Terror and still have some change. Um, so yeah, not as much as the Swarm Lord, but uh, 200 points um, still puts him obviously yeah, below a, a Land Raider or something. His uh, stat line then, uh, and I will compare it to a, a normal uh, Karn effects, uh, his movement is 7 inches, his weapon skill is 3 plus, uh, it doesn't have a ballistic skill, his strength is 7, his toughness is 7, he's got 9 wounds, 5 attacks, leadership 7 and a save of 3 plus. So already he is superior than a normal Karn effects, both in the weapon skill, his weapon skill is, is better at 3 plus, his strength which is 7, uh, he's got one more wound with nine and one more attack at five. He's got a better leadership as well. So he's definitely, uh, I want to say, the best Carnifix in that regard, um, although he doesn't have a ranged weapon. He's definitely evolved um, to be a, you know, a, a melee powerhouse in that regards. As mentioned earlier, he's armed with monstrous crushing claws, monstrous scything talons and a thresher scythe. And only one of this model may be included in your army. So, his melee weapons then. So the monstrous crushing claws, those crab-like claws that he's got either side, it doubles his strength to, uh, by two, so it's 14 strength now. Um, AP minus three and damage three. Uh, however, when attacking, you must subtract one from the hit roll. That's pretty good, because you give a normal Carnifex crushing claws, and you've got to subtract one from the hit roll, so they're gonna be hitting on five pluses. Doesn't really make it an option, whereas on one eye, still got that 50-50 chance of uh, hitting something despite his strength now being 14 instead of 12. So a uh, huge buff there. Monstrous Scything Talons, of course, strength of the user, which is seven. So it's still a very decent base strength there. AP minus three and a damage of three. And you can reroll hit rolls of uh, one for this weapon. So no different than the normal kind of fix, other than the base strength is, is higher. The Thresher Scythe is exactly the same as it works on a Carnifex. It's a strength uh, four, AP minus one, damage one. And uh, each time the bear fights, it can make one and only one attack with the weapon, make D3 hit rolls for the attack instead of one. Um, and this is addition to the bearer's attack. So it's a nice little, you know, you, you get three uh, hit rolls of that strength four. Not, not the best, but it's nice to get, you know, possibly three extra hits uh, onto something. Abilities then. So he's got instinctive behavior, uh, like a lot of the Tyranid models. Uh, immortal battering ram. When old one eye finishes a charge move, you roll a dice, and on a four plus one enemy unit within one inch suffers D3 mortal wounds. Uh, in addition, add one to all hit rolls for old one eye in the fight phase if it charged in the same turn. Now that is immense. Typically, uh, with like a Screamer Killer, um, you've got a four plus and uh, you know one enemy unit uh, suffers a mortal wound. This old one eye, the enemies will suffer D3. So you've got a potential of three mortal wounds already into that uh, unit. Uh, and also, uh, coupling that with uh, the add one to all hit rolls as well uh, as normal as the normal screamer killer alpha leader is another ability you can add one to hit rolls in the fight phase for friendly high feet carnifex units that are within six inches of this model that's immense too that really promotes him bringing his buddies along other carnifexes hey join in 
and uh, you're adding one to hit rolls. So if you've got your normal carnifixes, your screamer killers, whatever, you're gonna be getting that buff, buff just from him being the alpha leader. Berserk Rampage. Each time you make a hit roll of a six plus for old one eye, except for the thresher side attacks, you may immediately make one additional attack with the same weapon against the same unit. These additional attacks do not confer extra attacks. That's incredible too. So he's hitting and if he's really hitting and connecting at the six plus uh, with those five attacks, you're gonna get another attack with that type of weapon. And finally, regeneration, probably one of the best factors because he doesn't have an invulnerable save at all. Um, I would have liked to have seen some kind of five plus or six plus invulnerable um, to go with the Berserk Rampage. Um, but regeneration, at the beginning of each of your turns, the model heals one wound. Hey, so he's a Necron, let's face it. <laughs> um, you know, that's great that, that uh, you don't have to roll any dice, but just every turn, you're getting an extra wound back. And that's good because he's got nine wounds. So it's gonna, so if, the, if your opponent isn't paying enough attention to him uh, and uh, they're only knocking a couple of wounds off a, a turn, then that's gonna take them, a, it's gonna be a, like a war of attrition. It's gonna take them a lot longer to, to put this guy down. That's all of his abilities. His keywords, his Tyranids, High Fleet, Character, Monster, Carnifix, Old One Eye. Um, he is the ultimate Carnifix, uh, no doubt. Very decent set of abilities that buff other Carnifixes, that dish out the mortal wounds. His attacks are very strong. He's got a lot of wounds, good, good strength and good weapon skill. Um, and he's got the, the, the buff to himself of the six pluses and the regeneration. Um, I don't think I could make this character, this HQ choice, this Carnifix any better unless I added some kind of invulnerable save. Um, but definitely if you're going for an all Carnifix army, which you can do, um, I strongly suggest you do, uh, then this is the guy to take to lead that Carnifix army. Would have liked a, a bigger, better model from Forge World maybe, like like a double the size kind of Carnifex. That would be really, really cool. Uh, you know, um, if they just made a, a version of Old One Eye and then you could use that. But likewise, it's pretty decent that you don't have to buy him separately. You can get him in this uh, Carnifix Brood set for the £55 and have this monstrous, no pun intended, big Carnifix HQ character leader. That's all I wanted to say about Old One Eye. Uh, great model. Um, obviously, doesn't look too different from other Carnifixes unless you really soup up the the, the paint scheme and um, no reason why you have to have um him as as a you know scarred faced uh, carnifix just to you know make him look different but obviously if someone sees your amulish they're going to see that and uh, probably best to declare it too and if you do that yeah guaranteed that he's going to take a lot of fire because he is just so nasty in combat and um, so survivable and a, a great buff for, for himself and other carnifix uh, models in your army anyway what do you guys think about the awesome old one eye model from games workshop for tyranids please do put it in your comments below uh, it'd be great to hear your thoughts and um, thank you ever so much for joining me today thank you for watching for the norn queen <laughs>